Hello students, welcome to e-learning and I am here with class 10th uh, Footprints Without Feet lesson name 1 The Thief Story. It is written by Ruskin Bond. Now about the author Ruskin Bond. He was born on 19 May 1934, is an Indian author of British descent. He lives with his adopted family in London, Masuri, India. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Art Trees Still Grows in Dehra. His novel in English, he was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. Now students hear the characters. First of all the character assumption character is there Arun. The narrator of the story is the thief. The story is told in first person therefore the thief tells his own story. After Arun asks him his name the thief gives him the name of Deepak. This is not the thief's real name as seen in the text. Deepak I lied. Deepak was about my fifth name. I had earlier called myself Ranbir, Sudhir, Trilok and Surinder. The thief is 15 when the story takes place. The thief Arun sees an easy target to drop and persuades his way into Arun's home. Now the summary of the story. Anil was a young writer. He was living his life very carelessly. He was writing for the magazines and earning the money to run his life. One day, Anil was watching the wrestling match. Hari best knew how to make unknown person a friend. He used an old formula to flatter the person. Hari stayed with Anil. Anil promised him that he would teach him how to write and add numbers. He also taught how to cook tasty food. Daily, Hari Singh was going to buy daily needs and had profit of 1 rupee daily. Anil knew it but he did not mind it. So both were living together happily. So one month passed. Hari Singh did not perform his business. One day he saw Anil had bought a bundle of notes. He saw him to put them under the mattress. As Hari saw the bundle of notes, his evil spirit awakened in his mind and he decided to rob Anil that night. After taking dinner, Anil slept peacefully. Hari could not sleep. He woke up. He crept to the bed and slept his hand under the mattress. Suddenly, the good spirit called him, that is, that is inner voice told him not to betray the faith of Anil. Betray means to cheat. The train was moving but Hari did not dare to catch it. He was remembering the innocent face of Anil. When Hari Singh thought that what would Anil think about him? Anil would not worry about the money, but he might feel bad that a man had broken his faith, trust. There was a conflict in the mind of Hari Singh. He did not want to lose faith of Anil, because he knew that Anil was a simple man. Moreover, Anil was teaching him how to write and add numbers, which could change his life. He could become a respected person in the society. So that made him to come back to his original place. He left the station. He came to the maiden and sat on the bench. Just then heavy rain started. It was the month of November. Chill wind started blowing. He felt more uncomfortable. As he had cheated an innocent person, his shirt and pajamas stuck to his body because it were wet due to the rain. 
Then he went to the clock tower to save from the rain. He sat there under the tower. Suddenly he remembered his notes. He searched for it and found that all the notes were wet. He crept again secretly but back money under the mattress. And next day Anil woke up prepared tea for Hari and himself. He handed over 50 rupees note to Hari and told him that he would be regularly paid now. Hari took the note and found that it was still wet. He understood that Anil knew about the last night episode. So students, here are some word meaning. Just go through this word meaning and write it in your copy. And here the, some questions are there with the answer. So what you have to do, you have to read it and just go through this for your better understanding and copy in your copy. And lastly it is for you self assessment questions are there. So two questions are there after reading that whatever you have understood according to your assessment you just find out this answer and please note down in your copy. So with this I end up this story. I hope everybody understood. Thank you and have a nice day.